you know, we're called to be Christ to these people. Exactly. You know, we might be the only Bible that they ever read. Exactly. You know, so just Ooh, cutting yourself good. off completely Come from that, on. like, no. That was tea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So the next one was, do you have tips for anyone who is discerning a chaste life? The fact that I think you're even thinking about it is an invitation into something more. You know, like even if that desire is present, that is your invitation. I highly encourage you to at least explore. I think a lot of people are beginning to notice that as they live active homosexual lifestyles or, you know, promiscuous lifestyles, even, you know, heterosexually or whatever, mm -hmm. that all of these things that society is offering, all of these promises that society is making, it's not... They're not fulfilled. They're not fulfilled. Society is not fulfilling those promises because mm -hmm. guess what? It can't. It offers freedom, like sexual liberation. It offers uh, happiness. And yet there's so much misery. Mm -hmm. There is just so much pain in the world. You know, you're not made to live your life miserably. I don't know if you've like picked up anything, but we're not miserable. <laughs> you know, like, we're not sitting Lies. in the corner <laughs> of the room kneeling with yeah. our legs crossed and <laughs> our, our hands like clutching rosaries. <laughs> with like, rosaries. That's just not yeah, what we do thinking. every day. Like we live very full lives. I planned this trip like to come to Dallas like, God what, brought like her two back. weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So like it's super super spontaneous trip, but I came here for a party originally. So like, And we are going to Yes, we're going to party <laughs> tomorrow. So <laughs> we go out on the town and we have fun you know like we do we're regular people we're regular people ultimately our lives are centered on the fact that christ wants intimacy with us mm -hmm. i heard somebody break it down as intimacy is into me see yes like into me see mm -hmm. and it's so so beautiful we don't feel seen enough mm -hmm. and society doesn't see us it sees what it wants from yeah. us i don't want people to take from me you know, I want to be able to give myself freely. This is the only place where I can do that. Yeah. You know, this is the only place where I can experience true and authentic love. I've never felt so joyful, so free, and so loved than I do right now in the arms of yes, the, uh, the arms of Christ and His Bride, the Church. At the same time, we do have to be realistic in the fact that it obviously is a cross. So it's gonna it's, suck. Yeah, you know? <laughs> like, there are times when it's going to there's suck. There's I'll be working or I'll be at school, and I'm like, wow, that you know, like I'm attracted to that man. We are still attracted. It's not that the attractions went away or the desires necessarily went away. We are still human. You know, we're still broken. But the fact that we can. Put those at Christ's feet yeah. and give those, you know, to The fact him. that we don't have to suffer in vain. Exactly. You know? We it's... don't have to suffer without a purpose. Exactly. That's where the happiness comes from. I personally do not live for those desires and those attractions. So if they're taken away from me per se, or if I cannot act on them, I'm not going to be miserable because life is so much more than who you are with yes. sexually or romantically. We are made for so much more than that. There's so much more to life, guys. Yeah. Like, go outside and take a picture. <laughs> yeah. Go hug a tree. Yeah. Like, go hug a tree. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where do you see the church on the stopping in 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can do one of two things here. We can either be silent, which we see how that has worked. It hasn't. Just the tea. Um, it <laughs> has not worked. We can either be silent or we can begin to open the conversation. We can let this stuff come to the light. We can let it heal and then we can progress from there we don't talk enough about this yeah. and i went to catholic school and i heard almost nothing about this topic brought up at all mm. how are we supposed to know the love of christ how are we supposed to know catholic church teaching on homosexuality if we don't hear about it if nobody talks about it i went through my life living with same-sex attractions thinking that i was so messed up there was something so wrong with me that no one would even talk about it it was just that bad a lot of people carry that mm -hmm. they carry that shame i have nothing to be ashamed about i didn't ask for this this isn't my fault it's just something that i have to deal with it's something that i have to live with if nobody tells me that if no one gives me the resources to get help if no one is willing to be a friend to me, is willing to be a brother or sister in Christ, Christ, is willing to be brave and risk me possibly hating them, we're never gonna get anywhere. 
You know, we cannot keep watering down the faith. It's not helping. Like, I'm not gonna name no names right now, but I could. I think we all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> if we keep watering down the faith, if we don't start telling the truth, we're gonna be lost. Yeah. I want heaven. And I hope that other people, clergy especially, want heaven for me. Really, the cross is the only way to get there. You can't have Easter Sunday without Good Friday. Mm -hmm. We have to suffer first. Just because we have to suffer doesn't mean that we can't do it joyfully. Joy and sorrow can intermingle with each other and are oftentimes very beautiful together. The ultimate um, beautiful sacrifice was Jesus on the cross. People were probably looking at him carry that cross and were, you know, just doubting everything he was doing and thinking that he was just going through, you know, the worst of, you know, experiences yeah, and was. look at what came out of it. Yes. The resurrection. God can create yes. the best good out of even the worst yes. evil. I especially think now more than ever it's so important. We're fighting a culture war yeah. right now and the media and culture is trying so hard. They're to getting to people first. Yeah. And more and more people are being led astray. I think it's now more than ever that we need to be living out the truth in Christ's ultimate truth through our own lives. It's one thing to say it, but it's another thing, thing to, to live it. it. If we want to draw people in, especially into the arms of the church, one way that we're going to be able to do that is living the faith authentically Amen. ourselves. We have to be joyful Christians. That's what we're called to be. I think Mother Teresa that said, Lord, save us from the sour faith saints. <laughs> be happy that you're Catholic. Be happy that you're Christian. Be happy that Christ gave everything for you so that you could spend eternity with him. That is something Amen. to be joyful about. And I think, yeah, we are just, we need now more than ever people who are equipped with the truth and with the confidence in the truth to keep spreading it. I think sooner than later, yeah. it's going to come to a point where we're going, it's already happening where we're being oppressed mm -hmm. and more and more people are being silenced. And Christ needs a voice, I think, now more than yeah. ever. Christ has no hands, no feet in the world but ours. Yeah. It's through people like Avira, who I will leave a link to her channel. She is doing good things and doing big things for Christ. But even to people who are not necessarily traveling, ministering, or doing all that, just in your everyday life, being a reflection of Christ and His love and His truth yeah. is just as important. I can't be everywhere. You know, like, I'm mm. one person. We need more foot soldiers on the ground. You know, like, we need more workers in the vineyard. We have a lot of work to do, and the workers are few. If we don't do the work, it's going to be left. So who's going to do it? Will it be you? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you. One last thing I just want to say really quickly was, however, the Catholic Church itself has done a pretty decent job, yeah. I think, providing some resources for um, people struggling with same-sex attraction. Courage International, yeah. which I've left a link for before my videos, and I'll leave in the description below. Mm -hmm. They're a great resource. Eat an invitation. Ah, yes! I'm literally wearing right now we stand yes. we stand i will leave a link to them as well yes. i've talked about them before they're amazing father mike schmitz god Ugh, bless that man, man. there's you the will, man the myth the legend, <laughs> the legend. <laughs> there are resources i just feel like personally for me at least there should be more and yeah. there needs to be way more people talking about this especially in the youth the greatest resource is fellowship is yeah. community is friendship person to person that's conversation to conversation that is love to love amen you know? i think youth need it now mm -hmm. young people hear... are getting hit with it the most and it's one thing to hear it from a 70 year old priest yeah it's another thing to hear it from a 20 year old yeah. fellow christian or catholic mm -hmm you know, who is living out this life where you can see the joy and the truth that they're living. So that's all the questions I had. If there's any last thoughts or closing. Uh, love is actually love. Love is love. Mm. Uh, but I don't think we understand the this is love. This is uh, love. of that statement. Love is love. <laughs> the cross, the cross, cross is Jesus love. is love. <laughs> Well, I just want to thank Avira so much for taking the time to do this. This is such a big honor to be working with her. She's such a good friend of mine, and she's such an amazing, powerful light of Christ. And I'm so excited to see where God will take you. My breast smells really bad right now, so I'm trying to cover, <laughs> cover my mouth. So I will leave a link to her social media and to her channel in the description below. If you like this video, like this content, please feel free to subscribe do to my channel. If you want to comment, go ahead and leave a comment. Please feel free to do so. I try to respond to as many as I can every video cycle. If you want to like this video as well, all the love is greatly yes. appreciated. Sponsor <laughs> us if you want to. It's, it's, if you don't want to go to hell. <laughs> if you don't want to go to hell. If you want to go to heaven, okay. um, sponsor us Fun. at your local parish. Hashtag like, spawn. <laughs> so. Not spawn of Satan. Sponsor. No. <laughs>
We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Not in my good Christian not, household. Not in this household. <laughs> By the way, this house is we're in right now. It's yes. really pretty. Shout so out to beautiful. Heidi for letting us film yes. in her gorgeous house. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a blessed day. Continue to be lights of truth. And may God bless. Yay! Yay!